Antivirus Live is a rogue antivirus application and fake spyware removal tool that enters a computer with the help of Trojans and other malicious software. Once installed, Antivirus Live will display fake security alerts and notifications about serious computer threats or infections. The rogue application will also block almost all programs, especially antivirus, to protect itself from being deleted. You'll see application cannot be executed warnings when you launch applications. To make things even more complicated, it will hijack Internet Explorer and change LAN settings. Antivirus Live enables proxy server for LAN and blocks security related and antivirus software websites. This removal guide will help you to remove it from your system if you follow these step-by-step -step directions exactly as shown and follow all the advice contained within this video. Antivirus Live is promoted through the use of Trojans that come from fake online scanners and other misleading websites. It's also distributed using social engineering. The main goal of Antivirus Live is to trick you into purchasing the program. In order to achieve its goals, the misleading application will simulate a system scan and report false scan results. Antivirus Live will state that your computer is badly infected with Trojans, worms, spyware, and other malware. Then it will ask you to pay for a full version of the program to remove the infections, which do not even exist. In other words, this is nothing more but a scam. Whatever you do, don't buy it. What's more, Antivirus Live will impersonate Windows Security Center and state that Windows did not find any antivirus software on your computer and that Windows is not updated. Obviously, the rogue program will suggest you to activate Antivirus Live in order to protect your computer. And that's, by the way, the main difference between the legitimate security and the fake one. The legitimate one doesn't promote any particular antivirus software. That concludes the overview. Now let's get to the removal steps. Before you can remove this infection, you need to end all processes associated with Antivirus Live. Otherwise, you won't be able to run any real anti-spyware or antivirus programs. First of all, you have to disable proxy server for LAN in Internet Explorer. Or, you could try using another browser, like Firefox or Opera for example. To disable proxy server for LAN, open Internet Explorer. Then click on the Tools menu and select Internet Options. In the Internet Options window, click on the Connections tab, then click on the LAN Settings button. Now you'll see the Local Area Network, or LAN Settings window. Uncheck the checkbox labeled Use a Proxy Server for your LAN under the Proxy Server section and press OK. Then press Cancel until you're back to the main Internet Explorer screen. This disables the proxy so that now you should be able to surf and download normally. If not, close Internet Explorer, restart, and make sure you can surf normally. When all is OK, proceed to the next step. Now that we can surf, we need a way to kill the antivirus live process that's controlling your computer. To do this, the next step is to surf to the address on the screen or click on the link highlighted on this page. This takes us to the Microsoft TechNet Process Explorer download page where we'll download the tool, which is an enhanced version of the Windows Task Manager. Once you're on site, scroll down the page and locate the two download links near the bottom of the page. You have two download options, the zip file and the Run Process Explorer. Choose the Run Process Explorer option and choose Run when it prompts you to download. If that doesn't work, then choose Save and try to run the program from your download folder. The main thing is to get Process Explorer running so that you can then deal with Antivirus Live. Next we need to terminate the main Antivirus Live executable in order to download software that will remove the infection automatically. This is also necessary to manually remove the infection if that's the route you choose. 
Our job now is to locate and terminate antivirus live processes. One process is typical, but you may see more. They're easily spotted and should be some random prefix such as WMCQ, followed by the name sysguard.exe. So, in this example, the name would be WMCQ sysguard.exe. Once you've located the rogue process, simply right click on it and click on Kill Process. Process Explorer will then terminate it, but don't get too anxious and reboot your computer just yet. This simply gets Antivirus Live out of the way and allows us to begin the real work of removing it. This can be done automatically with a program like Spyware Doctor, which we recommend, or it can be done manually using the instructions on the following screens. Finally, we're at the crucial step of removing Antivirus Live. You have two choices here. One is safe and fast, and the other is slow, risky, and involves some deeper technical skills to pull off safely. Your best bet is to download and use a proven professional solution. Our pick in this area is Spyware Doctor with Antivirus. It's an industry leader that's been around for years and has a very high detection and removal rate. Of course, a lot of people will choose some of the very good freeware solutions like Malware Bytes, for example. But having already had a bad experience, don't you wish you'd already owned the best protection before you got infected so that you might have avoided it in the first place? Spyware Doctor Antivirus 2010 employs ThreatFire technology that so far has detected every malware we've thrown at it. ThreatFire alone is worth having since it detects and defends against suspicious activity before it has a chance to disable your computer. Of course, there's a lot to choose from when it comes to computer security these days. So whatever you end up using, just make sure it's at least as good as spyware docker. The instructions you're about to read are for information purposes only. Modifying your computer files and settings is risky and may cause your computer to become inoperable. So make backups of your registry before attempting anything on the next screen. If you have any doubts about your ability to follow these instructions, don't do it. Even experienced computer people steer clear of the registry, so if anything goes wrong, you're on your own. Manually removing Antivirus Live involves removing the following files, folders, and registry entries. Copy these steps exactly as shown. Once you've removed all traces of Antivirus Live, make sure to reboot. If you followed this guide exactly, you should be virus free. So now, there's just one thing left to do. Protect yourself against future infections like Antivirus Live and other malware threats. If there's one thing you should have learned from this whole experience, it's that your PC can be hijacked. Every computer on or off the internet, for that matter, is vulnerable to hackers and malicious software. It is sheer folly to think that you can surf anywhere and download anything without any thought or preparation against malicious attacks. So from here on out, if you don't want to go through more of the same, you'd best be ready with some form of defense strategy in place. No software can protect your computer 100%. So your best bet is to combine a proven security product with safe surfing and downloading habits. Even the best antivirus can't protect you from your own lack of awareness about security. Our best advice is to invest in a professional security software product like Spyware Doctor or the like. The cost is usually between $30 to $50 per year, which is very cheap for a good security solution. Then. Try to learn and stay informed about what sites to stay away from and learn about safe surfing in general. Doing so reduces the odds of reinfection by malware greatly.